Did you know you can create a custom business email to send and receive emails? for free rather than using a not so professional gmail.com or outlook.com. Hey guys, Stuart here. Thanks for joining me today. In this video tutorial, I'm going to guide you through how to create a custom business email for free and how to set this up with your Gmail account. Now, just quickly, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with new and actionable videos and tutorials designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that said, let's create your free business email. Okay, so first things first, we need to head over to Google Domains. This is where you can buy your business domain. Now, if you already have a domain name for your business, for your website, for your emails, then what you can do is you can transfer that here. Now, if you don't already have one, then what you want to do is pop in the domain that you want for your business. Now, this is where we do have to pay for the initial domain, but after that, we don't have to pay for ongoing hosting. We just need to set up this domain from Google Domains with our Gmail account. Now, you can also do this through another domain provider, but today we're going to walk you through Google Domains. So pop in your domain here. My business is a consultancy business, but now I want to kind of build up a personal personal brand. So my business email is going to be my name, Stuart Gould, and I'm going to click get it. Now, as you can see, I have the option to add .com, .org, .net, .app, or info, and there's other endings. These are called TLD, top level domain. So I've got my domain name, which is Stuart Gould. Now I want to add a TLD. So I'm going to select Com, as my business is international and .com is recognized internationally. Now the great thing about Google Domains is it's only going to cost you around 12 US dollars per year and that's very affordable compared to other providers on the market. So when you've selected your domain name or your business name then what you want to do is select the TLD which is the top level domain which goes at the end then come up here to your cart. And as you can see, if we come down here, this is how much it's going to cost you roughly per month for one custom domain. But what we're going to show you today is you can make up to a hundred custom business professional domains for free using your Gmail and using Google domains. So we're not going to do this and we're going to come down here and click check out. Here you want to add all your information and then once you've added all your information, come down here and click save and continue. And then what you want to do here is add your payment information. Now, as you can see, this is going to renew every year on the 2nd of July for me. So it's going to renew yearly at around $12 US per year. So come down here and add your payment information. And then come down here and click buy. And there we have it. That is the first part to creating a free custom business email. So we've bought a domain, as you can see up here, we've got this domain that we want to now connect with our Gmail account so we can send and receive emails with this custom email rather than gmail.com uh, or outlook.com. Well, because we're using Gmail, we don't want to have gmail.com. We want to have info at stuartgould.com or sales at stuartgold.com. So we're going to show you how to create that custom email now and how to connect that to your Gmail. So come down here and click email. Now all we need to do is create a forwarding email. So come down here and select add email alias. So here what we want to do is add our custom email that we want to create. Now you can add up to a hundred email addresses. So for this one we're going to go info at stuartgold.com. So all I need to do here is go info and you can add up to a hundred of these. So come across here and add your Gmail account that you want to use to send and receive email. So I'm going to add our Gmail account down here and then I'm going to come down here and click add. Now you might get a message that says verify your email and all you need to do is click verify and then go to your Gmail account and click verify email. Now, as you can see, if someone sends an email to info at stuartgould.com, that's going to go to my Gmail account that I just added in here. The same as if I add another alias, I could add sales, um, team, I could add contact or support, and these are going to be forwarded to this Gmail account. So we've created one way people can send emails to us. We can write this on our website, on our business card, and people can contact us. Now we need to head to our Gmail account so we can actually send from info at So let's head over to our Gmail account. 
Okay, so here we are at our Gmail account. Now, if you don't already have a Gmail account, I highly recommend you create one. Gmail is amazing, it's free to create, and then you have access to dozens of free applications and software for your business and productivity. So when you've logged into your Gmail, all we need to do here is head over to settings, come down here and select see all settings, then navigate over to accounts and import, then what you want to do is come down here to send mail as and then add another email address. Now here we just want to add the email address that we just created. So for us we created info at stuartgood.com. Then up here you want to add your email name. So for example you could have your name. So for us we're going to just add my name. You can add your name and then your business name. So for example I work with Cindio Media. I could have Stuart space Cindio Media or Stuart dash Cindio Media, so you can add that if you like or just add your first name. It's completely up to you how you want to add your name. So once you've decided on a name and we've added the email address that we want to use to send and receive emails within Gmail, then come down here and select next step. Now here we want to make sure all this information is correct. So what we want to do is come up here and delete Stuart Gould and add Gmail. And then we want to come down here and add our Gmail information, so the Gmail that we're currently using, add your email here, and then the password for that Gmail. And then once you've done that, come over to port, and select 465. So remember, you wanna add Gmail in here, you wanna add your Gmail that we're using right now, and then the password to enter this Gmail account. And then make sure you have SSL selected, and then come down here and click Add Account. Okay, now if you see an error message appear, like this one, authentication failed, please check your username password and less secure apps. This essentially means your password or username is wrong or you need to open your less secure apps. Now to do that, all you need to do is head over to your Google account, then head down to security on the left hand side. And here what you'll see is less secure app access. Now what you need to do is turn this on to allow less secure apps to essentially access your Gmail. Now to do that, you first need to disable your two-step verification. If you have this two-step verification on, you're not gonna see the option to turn on the access for less secure apps. So once you've done that, then what you'll see is this, and you just need to turn it on. Once you've turned on the access of less secure apps, head back here and then give it a go. Make sure your username is your Gmail account and then make sure the password is correct. So it's your Gmail email as the username and your password for that Gmail account. And then click add account and it should work. And there we go, as simple as that. Now all we need to do is confirm verification and add your email address. So all we need to do is add the verification code in here. Now we receive that from the email that gets sent to this email, which is then forwarded to our Gmail account. So the Gmail account that we're using to send and receive, uh, we need to head over there and look in our inbox and add the verification code here. So I'm gonna head over to my inbox and here's the Gmail confirmation. I'm gonna come down here and copy this code. And once I've copied this code, I'm gonna head back over to the previous screen and enter that code in here and then click verify. And there we have it, that's all there is to it. Now, if I come over here and click Compose, as you can see, I can come over to From, which is my initial Gmail account, and click down and select the new alias that I just created, info at stuartgold.com. I can select that, and now I can send an email with Stuart Gould as my name, and this is my email account, my professional business custom email account. How easy is that? And as you can see, I am receiving email to info at stuartgold.com to my Gmail account, my free Gmail account. And there you go. Now you can receive and send emails with your Gmail account and you now have a professional custom email to choose from. And remember, you can make up to 100 of these custom emails to send and receive. So I'm going to select that. And just remember, if you're gonna send a business email from this account, all you need to do is select your new business custom email we just created. And that's all there is to it. 
And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope this made complete sense and you now know how to create your free custom business email and link that through your Gmail account. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value from this video, please leave a like down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care.